Hey guys, what's up? It's Triggy here and today I've got a bit of a problem which I hope someone out there on the internet can help with. Maybe even Gigabyte will notice this and chime in. Doubt it. But anyway, so I recently bought a Gigabyte Oris 1080 Ti Extreme Edition 11G, their um, pinnacle card at the moment. I installed it into my rig. Everything's been running fine. Um, you can see my other videos if you want to see how I went about doing that. But it's come to playing around with the overclocks, okay? And I've been doing, I've been feeling with their app over the last few days, so their Oris Graphics Engine app, okay? It even had an update yesterday to 1.0.4 from 1.0.3, and do you, did you think I could find a change log anywhere on the internet to tell me what it fixed or what it added or removed from the app? No, leaves the user to find out all of that themselves. So. But there was a problem in 1.0.3, which I hope was fixed in 1.0.4, but it hasn't been. Namely, with the user mode overclocks, okay? So you can create profiles here, set custom overclocks, which are different to the gaming overclock or silent modes, okay? The three de default modes here, you can set custom ones. Um, but they don't work properly. Um, let me explain a little bit first. If I go to gaming mode, which is the default out of the box experience, okay? That has a GPU boost clock of 1721 megahertz. As you can see here in GPU Z, 1721 megahertz. They match, right, okay? And they match because it's the default clock, okay? Uh, if I switch to overclocking mode, 1746, okay? This will update a moment, 1746, okay, yep, because that's the overclock mode, it's a little bit better, okay, silent mode is supposed to be 1582, okay, that, I think that figure changed from versions, um, but this is where it starts to get a little bit confusing, GPU Z is reporting that the boost clock is 19, 1594, 1594 is not 1582, there's a difference, not much, well, enough to matter, but in my mind, they should match, okay? Now, some of you might have noticed as well that the memory clock is oh, 11,232 megahertz. Um, giga transfers per second, maybe, uh, well, transfers per second, sorry, not giga transfers. If it was giga transfers, it would be 11.232 giga transfers per second. But megahertz, um, no. And you can see here clearly that it's wrong because GPU Z thinks that it's 1404 megahertz on the memory clock, not tenfold of that or eightfold of that. Um, I'd like it to be that, but it, it's not. And overclocking mode, if we go back to that and have a look at the memory clock, 11448 megahertz versus. 1431. This is more realistic, of course. Um, but yeah, all you guys have to do, Gigabyte, is change that from MHZ to T slash P or whatever it is, S. T slash S. Transfers per second. All right, not hard. Silent mode, guarantee it's wrong as well. 11,010 uh, versus 14, 1376. Okay, it's wrong, obviously. Now, anyway, to my bigger gripe, user mode. I've got a custom profile, profile one. Boost clock, GPU boost clock should be 1827 megahertz, 1827 megahertz. But the boost clock reported by GPU Z is a more realistic, mind you, 1774. That's what I'd like to run, okay? And I I believe GPU-Z, I don't believe Oris's app, Gigabyte's app, okay? Um, and I certainly don't believe the memory clock, but it's a good thing I know the difference between megahertz and transfers per second when I see them. So, uh, this is the little icon you click to modify your profiles. And here you can see I've applied plus 108 megahertz from the base boost clock, but GPU Z doesn't doesn't agree. Okay, 
um, and a plus 888 on the megahertz transfers on the memory clock. And that doesn't apply either. Well, hell, maybe it does. I don't know. I'm not going to do the math if they relate. Um, you can also fiddle with these other things, but I've left them all standard except for the fan speed. I've set it manual to be 80 in my profile one. Um, profile two is actually a copy of the um, gaming mode overclock. So these are pretty much defaults, as you can see, plus zero, plus zero, plus zero across the board. Um, plus 100, that's default. And plus 84 um, is target temperature for um, degrees in Celsius. So, but no matter what you do in these profiles, they do not correspond with GPU-Z after they've applied, okay? Um, maybe if you do a customized, um, customized overclock, so setting a clock based on its voltage, maybe that works, but I don't wanna do that. I mean, the default is just let me apply a simple boost clock, um, but it doesn't work, okay? Uh, so that's my gripe. Hopefully someone out there can help but it's not the end of my troubles here, okay? I'm just gonna grill this app a little bit more. Don't mind me. The monitoring, okay? I don't really care that much about monitoring, but this window is not resizable, okay? It sucks, and it also moves around the main interface. It's not detachable properly, okay? Uh, as you can see, it gets lost. Um, you can edit all these settings. You can choose what you want to display. You can even log it to a file, great, but you have to drag up and down through the results, which is shit. Um, either make the screen resizable, the window resizable, or allow these charts to resize corresponding to how many you have selected. Okay, now I'm not gonna stop there. I'm gonna go to the settings cog. And, um, and here, when you update the app, as I did tonight to the latest version, the automatically check for updates tick box becomes unticked. It doesn't remember whether you want it to be automatically updated or not. So you update it once, it's never going to update again unless you come in here and retick that every time. Um, as you can see, I, I checked for updates not that long ago, half an hour in fact. Um, and geez, just to amuse everyone, I'll even check for updates, none. This is handy. I can check for a BIOS update to the graphics card here, which um, is handy. I don't know, some people probably don't even realize you've got BIOS updates for your graphics card. Noobs, but yeah, so can't do that either. I mean, yeah, these work, but there's no updates. Um, since the latest update to 1.0.4, one of these icons has gone missing. There used to be three. The extra icon was um, to enable or disable or customize the built-in RGB LEDs on the card. Okay, it was really good. You could click on it and you could make it phase through the different colors or you could say change colors based on temperature um, of either the GPU or the fan speed, the changing fan speed um, and all that sort of stuff. It was great, but it's gone now. They've just removed it and my graphics card is stuck on whatever I last set it on. So that's shit. Fix that, please. Um, but yeah, more importantly, fix up this user mode mismatch GPU clock thing because that's shitting me. And change MHZ to T slash S or whatever it should be. Transfers per second, please. All right. If anyone actually knows how to fix this or wants to prove me wrong, that's great. I'll take the answers and I'll remove this video to save my embarrassment. But thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.